Chapter 4 Operations on Sets 4.1 Intersection of Sets In this chapter, you are going to learn how to find intersection of sets. Okay, so first, the intersection of sets is denoted using this symbol, which is like an N. Okay, so for example, set P and set Q means that this is the intersection of set P and set Q. So what is intersection? Intersections means they contain common elements of both sets, which are P and Q. Okay, so the intersection are the common things, okay, the common elements. So here we have an example. This is set P. The elements is 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So I can return like this. Set P is equal to, and then this inside this bracket are all the elements. Okay. And for set Q, 14, 15, 16, and 17. And they are all listed inside this bracket. This is set P and this is set Q. Okay. You can notice that the, semi, the common elements are 14 and 15, right? 14 and 15 okay so the two set P and set Q these two sets can be drawn like this because they both share 14 and 15 okay and therefore this part is called the intersection this is the intersection of set P and set Q okay and then Therefore, P and Q is 14 and 15. Okay, so all the elements inside this section is the intersection, okay, which are 14 and 15. Okay, so how to determine the intersection of sets? Okay, let us see different examples and we need to shape the, the intersection. Okay, so the first is the P and Q. So P and Q is the middle part, right? Okay, the intersection of P and Q. Okay, how about we have three sets, P, Q, and R. So for P and Q, also same. P and Q is this part. Okay, and P and Q and R. Okay, the intersection between this three and is common only this part. Only the middle part. Okay. For this one, P and Q is equal to Q. Okay, so P and Q is this part. This is a special case where all the elements of Q are elements of P. So it doesn't have the outside part. Okay, so you can say that Q is a proper subset of P, which means all the elements of Q are elements of P. Okay, if you want to shade the intersection, it's the Q. Whole Q will be the intersection because everything inside these are the common elements of both sets. Okay. How about this one? P and Q is a now set. Okay, which means it's an empty set. Okay, this means that there is no intersection. Okay, there's no elements. Okay. How about this one? This symbol means complement. Okay, so P and Q is this part, right? Complement mean other than this part. So you need to shape everything, everything outside except this part. Okay, so you need to shape, including this part. Okay, and this part. Okay, so you need to leave this part blank 
and you shade all the other part. This means the complement. And that's it for the lesson today about the intersection of sets. Don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching.